Right, everyone. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions uh, about an update to my aquaponics uh, video that I made. Let me try to zoom in here if you guys can see that. Okay, so this is just a basic uh, bell siphon setup, a sample bell siphon setup. Uh, I'm actually going to make it out of these 25 gallon drums when I put it in my in my uh, system in the pond uh, in the backyard. But uh, I wanted to make this first so I can show you that it works and first let me explain what this is. This is a bell siphon uh, setup in, in what you would I guess call this plastic tote here. This would be a, a grow bed and this would be your bell siphon setup. And uh, this is pretty simple to construct. What you do is, well let me show you the underside first. This is the drainage pipe. This is where the water is going to flow back into the pond and this is just, I believe this is half inch PVC and this is uh, this is connected to a bulkhead fitting after I used a hole saw to drill in here and I, I siliconed uh, the edges and made it watertight. I siliconed on the top and on the bottom as you can see. I don't know if you can see that there. And I also uh, got in in those corners. I don't know if you can see that there. But this is just, again, this is a bell siphon that consists of a bulkhead fitting attached to a hole that I drilled into this tote and this pipe comes out, this uh, essentially makes a drainage tube and on top of this you take a, uh, this is I believe one inch PVC pipe where this is half inch and you take this one inch PVC pipe, uh, install a brake tube in it and there's some interesting uh, physics behind this bell siphon setup but anyway I'll, uh, you know, I'll, put a PV I'll put a PDF of the physics behind why, why this works uh, in the description box just in case you're interested but this goes on top of here like so and what happens is as the water as the water flows in through these teeth it reaches this point right here and it begins to drain but this uh, this bell siphon which is just a one inch PVC pipe with a bell cap attached to it with this brake tube siliconed in as it reaches the top level here as it's flowing through these teeth, it makes it so that uh, this drains automatically and you don't have to buy a, a, some, some kind of expensive timer system uh, to tell your pump when to stop pumping in order to allow the uh, grow bed to drain. And I'm also going to show you the pieces of the bulkhead fitting which I'm going to attach to this here. Uh, this, this tote, I have two of these and this tote cost me uh, $8 at Home Depot the bulkhead fitting is a tad bit more expensive. Uh, this this cost me almost twenty dollars for the bulkhead fitting, um, and I'm just going to show you basically how this is going to work. So I'm going to drill. Well, I've already drilled my hole, and this is going to fit in uh, from from the underside. It's going to be coming like so. Imagine imagine this part on the inside of the of the tote here. It's going to be coming out like so. Attached to the top of this is going to be this male ad adapter that you screw in here, right? So you can start to see, you can start to see if we compare it to this here, you can start to see where that that matches up with with this here, it's just on a bigger scale. And then and then the one inch pipe uh, for this tote is going to be, this is half inch, but I scaled it up to one inch for this tote. It's going to be coming out through here. We're also going to put, after that, we're going to screw this on here. Or actually, let me take this little rubber grommet here. That screws on. i try to do this with one hand. Let me see. Okay, that screws on like so. And you just keep, you know, you keep turning this. It's pretty hard to do it with one hand. Keep turning this. And this is going to seal up each side of the hole on this tote. You just make sure you silicone the edges, make it watertight, silicone around here, because of course if this water drains out your fish are gonna you know die. So after you screw that in there, you screw the other end of the male adapter on. Like so you get the picture. And then you connect your drainage pipe to this bottom end here. So, uh, you know, of course this isn't all assembled, but you get the picture. This is going to attach to a drainage pipe like we see here. 
So now I'm going to show you how this works. So now we're back at our pond here. If you remember. Um, now, I got this set up here, and this, uh, again, this is just a demonstration tote. Uh, this is going to be on a much bigger scale when I install it, and I might not actually be able to do it this season since the summer's winding down. But you'll see uh, we have our our bell siphon, we have the tube, we have the hose draining into this uh, covered in dirt, but whatever uh, and you'll see that when it gets to this level, when it gets to this level here, it's going to start to drain out of this tube here into this gravel bin oh, hose fell out yeah, when you get this set up, of course, you're going to want to make sure that the hose doesn't fall out, you're going to have to connect it somehow um, but yes, uh, I'm going to show you in a little bit when this fills up that it's going to drain all on its own. I have no pumps in this system. I'm not pumping. I'm pumping water in, but I'm definitely. I'm pumping water. There's a mosquito. I'm pumping water in, but. Again, no timers are set up to this, and uh, it's going to drain all on its own. So we'll come back to this in a little bit when it's filled, because I don't want to get bit up by mosquitoes. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so now this is starting to fill up here. I'm going to see if I can get a closer look. You can see the water level, where it's at. And what you're going to see is right when it starts approaching the beginning of, of the bell cap here, you're going to see this little brake tube start filling up with water here and that creates, that's going to create a, a, a water lock and uh, and after that you're going to see the, the water start draining all on its own uh, again no no kind of timers attached to this system whatsoever and this is how people uh, drain and, and empty their grow bed I mean you need you need to constantly run the water through so that the the plants uh, benefit from the nitrates in the water but you need to be able to drain it otherwise you're going to get a bunch of anaerobic bacteria and I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes but hopefully this will start working soon okay it should start working soon a couple more seconds probably start seeing this drain soon as well by the way but I'm going to keep it on here for a little while Okay, so it's starting to drain over there. You can, I don't know if you can see that. It's starting to drain here, and you'll see in a little bit the water level in the brake tube start to rise. You can already see it happening, kind of. Let's see if I can get a hard to zoom in here. But anyway, you can see the uh, the water level starting to empty all on its own, and you're going to see the the water lock actually break when it reaches the bottom of these teeth here. When it reaches those teeth, you can see the dotted lines on the teeth. When the water reaches that level, you're going to see it uh, start to start to break the uh, the, lo the lock, and it's going to start filling up all over again. You you'll actually hear the noise, and you can actually see it here. The water level is indeed it's hard, very hard to see, but it is going up through the brake tube. Now watch, just stopped, and it's just going to start filling up all over again, and the cycle will continue over and over and over again. So that is how a bell siphon works, and I will definitely keep you guys updated when I get those 25 gallon drums set up on this system, see if we can get some nitrifying bacteria, I've been a little busy but we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching.